Well, each year, Operation Homefront hosts the Back to School Brigade. It helps service men and women get their kids all the school supplies they need. And as our Casey Lund explains, Fairchild Air Force Base is saying thank you to that organization and to our community. The work Operation Homefront does is essential to the service men and women here at Fairchild and on every military base, and they could use your help. It's a worthy cause, serving the men and women that serve Americans like you and me every day. Boxes of backpacks are loaded into Michael Anderson Elementary. Soon, around 300 students will fill those bags with all they need for their first day back. School's coming. And, and f families are going out and they're here to provide supplies for my enlisted airmen and that's outstanding. Colonel Newberry is commander of the 92nd Air Refueling Wing. He couldn't say enough nice things about Operation Homefront, but for him, what the organization provides is more than just a nice gesture. Bottom line, as we speak right now, we have airmen overseas fueling freedom or defending freedom acro across our world. What Homefront provides is in providing support for the families back here. The airmen overseas can focus on their mission because they know their families are being taken care of. They have enough stress and worries on their plates as it is with their husbands or wives being deployed and they're at home trying to take care of their families. If we can step in and help supplement in any way, we, that's what we're here to do. Carrie McClellan travels to bases all over the Pacific Northwest organizing events like the Back to School Brigade. But that's just one of their many services. To pull it all off, Operation Homefront needs military towns like Spokane to step up. We have a great need for volunteers in this area that are willing to help us run events like our Back to School Brigade. We have our holiday toy drive coming up um, starting in November. Having volunteers here that can help to um, put those in place are essential for us to be able to continue to support our mission. From Fairchild Air Force Base, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.